And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first of two donation decks for the day. We're going to be starting with Draven Zed uh, is what we're going to be going with. I don't think I've ever really played Draven and Zed together, which is kind of surprising because they are both very good three mana quick attack champions. So if you don't have one, you probably have the other. And so you're going to always be able to start off with a, a good uh, strong start there on round three. The new part about this deck is that it's adding in some of the brand new Noxus discard cards to go along with the spinning axe that we create with the Draven. We're going to have Grey Physician, Fallen Rider, Reborn Grenadier, and Lost Soul. So all those cards are going to reward us for discarding or allow us to discard. And so that, that could uh, you know help, help out, I think. I mean, we can get some real aggressive starts with the Grenadier. We can get some really nice late game with the Lost Soul. So it kind of helps on both of those and gives us a little bit of card advantage with the Grey Physician also and Great Attacker with Fallen Rider. Uh, besides that, two mana is going to be with House Spider and then tons of spells. Um, you can see we have a lot of like just situational spells in these two regions that aren't just like automatic three ofs. You know, like there's not like the Troll Chance, your Sharp Sights, um, those kind of cards that you're just like, all right, well, we're, we're playing three of these. And so we have a lot of different, um, well, I guess there is Twin Disciplines. <laughs> so there's that one. But besides that, um, there's a lot of different situational cards. And so we have a lot of ones uh, and twos because they're not cards that we're going to want. You know, we don't need like a whole bunch of them. You know, we don't want like three denies, you know, right? But it's nice to have a deny kind of thing. So we got a bunch of situational spells. Um, then to help support our champions, we're going to have a Kato the Arm. Uh, or three Kato of the Arms that, you know, give them plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm, which works particularly well with Zed, especially leveled up Zed, that can give uh, the Living Shadow also the plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm. Uh, so those two will work well together. And then one Captain Farron at the top end. And of course, you know, we'll have, like, these Lost Souls as challengers, hopefully, like, in the four mana slot, and Kato can support the Lost Souls as well. That could be nice, getting an extra damage. So it's going to be just a, you know, a little aggressive deck here with some different tricks and good attackers that's the deck so let's get to it we're gonna go play our five games in ranked we'll see how we do with draven zed <laughs> yeah draven or uh, twin disciplines is definitely that automatic 3-0 i was like wait whoops i meant besides that card <laughs> all the rest of them okay well this looks like a hand to play So we'll start by uh, saving our spell mana. Unfortunately, we don't have the attack token in round three, but the good news is round four, we will have the attack token and maybe have both of our champions, both uh, Draven and Zed, being able to attack on round four. I could have attacked with these two, but I'll just wait. Me? Miss? Not by a long shot. Hmm. Time for the main event. One step ahead. Now wait. Without a sound. So this is kind of a difficult decision of like what to buff. Maybe I just play Grenadier. No. No, I should probably use Spitting Axe. I put it on the Draven to get Draven 1 out of 2, or I put it on the Zed to make both Zeds 4 power attacking. You know, so we attack for 1 additional point of damage by putting it on Zed, but what are you we help level up Draven with that. Time for the money maker. Let's do this. I guess we go help level up Draven. So this is pretty cool, right? Like a lot of attacking. Two times over, turning More in Talizu. Whoa. Alright, so shooting Zed. Oh, they have a lost soul? 
wow, they discarded that. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. So two options. I got, you know, Twin Disciplines as an option or Retreat Return. I'm going to go Retreat Return because if I go Twin Disciplines... I guess if I go Twin Disciplines and then they Mystic Shot... I was thinking then they could Mystic Shot, but I guess if they Mystic Shot, then... Then I retreat, so it wouldn't have been the worst. Maybe I should have just done the Twin Disciplines then because of this House Spider. Yeah, like we would have killed the House Spider. Okay, good card. Good card. Yeah, I, I like saving the twin. Yeah, I like I think the twin can do a lot of good work for us. I like saving it. Alright, cool. Got leveled up Draven. Living Shadow just isn't a very good champion spell. So I decided to just let that happen and keep my two protection spells. Um, even though that Zed was one out of two, and now this one's zero out of two. Four to a unit. Wow, Brash Gambler. That's one of the like that's maybe the best four drop to hit ever. Wow, Brash Gambler. Yeah, that's kind of the plan with yeah, with Kato, level up a Zed, put it on a Kato. That could be really nice. Someone's feeling lucky. Oh, man. Well, I guess I need to Spirit's Refuge last round. Yeah, I guess I need a Spirit's Refuge last round, and then maybe, like, the plus three on the Zed immediately. Hmm. Well, wait, we can just do this, actually. Yeah, wait, we can just do that. And then that means I should save Zed. Then Zed will be leveled up. If this works, they don't have any other spells.
So the two living shadows both strike. So I'm left with nothing. One thing I was worried about with this deck is against a removal heavy deck that can take out the Zeds and the Dravens and everything like that, so that we will run out of cards. On that case. And that's what it looks like here. We have an incredibly heavy removal deck with this Caitlyn Draven that even has these Twin Blade Revenants. And this this brash, getting brash gambler is just not fair. <laughs> that is not fair. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Yeah. All right. My game is over. There's a lot of ways to put card advantage in the deck, but it's not not very good ones. Of like, it dilutes our plan a whole lot, right? It it makes the deck a lot less aggressive and and. Uh, hurts our overall game plan. So I think if they can just stop us like that, they win. You know, it's just going to be that kind of thing. Yeah, bad matchup. That's that's not what you want to face with an aggressive deck like this. Bad matchup. Okay, action Zareth. Again, Zareth could go crazy. Has that opportunity. We didn't get, like, our top end, though, right? No Kato's, no... Um, None of our three eight mana cards, none of our three Kato's. This isn't too bad. I think we can keep this. Like, Fallen Rider sometimes just going to be a 3 1 Fearsome, which isn't great. But I don't have to play it on, on two. I think I, I which means I, I don't think I will. I think I'll just, like, save the spell mana for retreat return. But it's just gonna, nice going to be able to have this in here for just some flexibility, depending on what the game looks like. And if we draw a discard card, like card that wants to discard. And then Kato to go along with the Zed. Would you look at this place? Okay. So dense, I do have a. I don't have protection for Zed right now, but I do have a backup Zed. But I got that. I want got the vulnerable away from the Zed at least. Yeah, it's very possible that my opponent is just playing a deck that's designed to abuse the Shell Folk bug. There, right now, there's a bug with Shell Folk, Pure Shell Folk in Vandal City, and Lucky Fine in Shirima. In the, specifically, the card Payday. And if you if you have a shelf hole can play and then play payday, you just get infinite lucky finds for some reason. It's it's bugged. They're gonna fix it, but right now it's not fixed. And so if my opponent decides to just do that a lot, they can. So you are one out of two. Thinking about maybe doing like the plus three plus zero on the on the Z. Make a six. I probably should. Gonna put a good amount of pressure on them.
Okay. So this puts them down to nine. And it levels up Zed. I can put the Grave Physician back in my hand so that then I can discard it for Lost Soul. Or do I want to save this to help out Zed? It's a fine setup they have here. With the Zerath, that's a good setup. I was just thinking about the Zareth thing, like with that and, and doing the math of the Zareth with the different landmarks and stuff and didn't quite consider the Kato having vulnerable. Got back up, Zed. Just, if I play Zed and they play like Unraveled Earth again, kind of. Not cool. Then Zed attacks. Puts in a unit. I prefer to just have, you know, Spirit's Refuge, Whirling Death. These two things. So that was worst case scenario. Not only did they have uh, the Roiling Sands, but then they also were able to mini morph. All right, so this would put them down to five. If I play Whirling Death, it puts them down to three. It saves my mini minute. I don't know if that's really worth it. Sounds like a challenge. It's Draven time. I got it. Oh. 
Just, just, just thinking about what we can do. Time for the money maker. This is gonna hurt for you. So basically, just getting rid of all their blockers. Two cards are. Let's do this. I really hope they don't have burst speed destroy landmark, right, with the, the plus four, plus two again. They've played one earlier. That's the scariest card right now. Wow. That was the card. My beautiful face. Like, without that, we're winning this game. That was, that was the one card. Still got a pretty good shot because of these lost souls, but that was the card they needed for sure. Because I was going to be able to, with the Whirling Death, I was going to be able to make the Draven 5 power. But I am glad I gave them priority first. Okay, well, we still good. He's still good. I think Captain Farron's gonna end this. I think that's what's gonna happen. I know I have the decimates in my back pocket, but we're gonna go with the Zed. I can keep like we we had the attack token that round, right? So I can go with the challenger and the Zed and attack, and then like the next round when we don't have the attack token, we can play the decimates. I don't know how they stop the decimates, but I don't really know how they stop the challenger and the Zed anyway. All right, one on one. Yeah, the arsenal is pretty broken. You just face it for the first time. It is pretty broken. Fizz Poppy. Okay. We actually didn't face very much Poppy yesterday. I 
I don't have anything to discard. Or like anything that wants to discard. Like this is a good Sonic Wave matchup. But I just you just need the champions, right? Like this is like all three of these cards I'm happy with. Like I could keep all of these cards. I'm happy with all of them, but we gotta have our champions, first and foremost. We gotta do some mulliganing. Hey, Lu Pang, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Hey, look at that. We drew Draven. That's a surprise. We're so lucky. Drew a champion. You best believe I don't play. Let's make cookies. Obviously, I don't know if that attack is really worth it with that 1-1. One, one. They're not probably not blocking with the other things, anywho. Let's cook em. The party has arrived. Oh, that's the perfect setup. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? These decks are hard to get through. I put it in your hat this morning. Well, without a sound. Don't have any spell to back him up. Except for spinning axe, I guess. Spandle City Mayor card's pretty good. The order. So, so far, round... Round four, you're supposed to have ten total mana. They've spent eleven, and yet they still have an additional mana. Spandle City Mayor card, pretty good. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Okay. And of course the mayor also just created this tenor of terror, like it just created all of these, so the commando creates the owl cat, mayor creates these things. And they're just gonna run us out of cards. Question is, is does Mayor need a nerf? Kind of. I think this should be a four just like with Targon that the the Allegiance card made the invokes cost one less. That, that's a four mana card. This being a three oh, mana card. Here. I think with that that powerful an effect making you know like all sorts of cards cost one less that something that's that powerful shouldn't cost three mana that should cost four mana. Now does it should it be like a two three then if it's four mana like the allegiance card I could you know I could see that. But this is a really powerful effect to have on something that cheap on three mana. Hmm. 
Do need this Draven to level up. You cannot win. Yeah, I'm not sure I can. Against free owl cats. Not sure I can. Crazy amount of mana they get to spend every round. So, good start for the opponent, good setup. Um, I would prefer to keep Retreat Return, but we are really, really far behind, and so we're going to have to try to attack with these, because like Poppy, we are we are in a lot of trouble. So we're going to have to just hope that they don't have good removal as well, because we, we need to put pressure on them. Yeah, so that's that could be a good sign. Like this could be just a sign that they have just a whole lot more units in, in hand and they just want to clear room to play more units. Uh, no, many more. Never mind. Well, at least we still have Zeta, I suppose. They use a mini morph on the Draven. And blocked whenever I attacked. Attacking. Attack will put me down to 10. Unless we block. I'm hoping that deny backup is useful. We need it. I guess I should have blocked the aloof travelers. Make it three. Yeah, I, sh I should have blocked with a two, like a two one. Make it a four three to help out my Zed. Yeah, I need to block that. So we played three games so far. One game, we had our top end cards, and we won that one. The other two, no top end cards at all, and we lost both of those. 
So I think that there is a very strong correlation of drawing any card that costs, you know, a little bit of mana. We have we have six top end cards with uh, three eight mana units and then three Kato's. And so the game that we drew Kato's and eight mana cards, we won. Two that we didn't, we lost. All right, team, adventure time. All right, we can get on out of here. My opponent had plenty of their top end stuff. They had their mini morphs. They're just going to drown us out in card advantage if we can't. Um, you know, if we don't have the power to kill them. And without that top end, we don't have the power. I guess deny is just kind of useless. That one of deny, that, one, that card was kind of useless. Okay, so let's see if this matchup goes any differently. Let's see if we can have more power. So I feel like the house spider just kind of plays into their hand, right? Like, last game we drew all three house spiders, and it's not like it really does very much. I think it just, like, it's like the kind of card that they can defeat very easily. This card can kill a Bandle City Mayor, which is like why I kind of want to keep it. It can also kill Teemo. I think we keep both of those. We're going to send this House Spider back. My plan is round three being able to play Zed and, and then have like protection for Zed. And, and so I don't need to... Like I'm planning on saving the spell mana the first couple of rounds so we don't need the House Spider. Actually, be important to kill Teemo. Probably not. Time for the main event. Armed and ready. <laughs> Got a rock with your name on it. Alright, gonna get rid of the mayor with this thing. Not time to play that card. So probably like the group shot, the one mana deal one. Which is why I shouldn't block. Spell man available. Do I deny Pokey Sticks? They don't draw a card. use that, but I don't really know what else Deny does. It's just 
the problem with doing that, of course, is that then our Zed still only has one health, so if they have one more of those kind of cards, they get to kill the Zed. That's, of course, the problem with doing that. Alright, another Bandle City Mayor. I just need to get these blockers out first, but... Man, like, Vandal City Mirror gains so much mana. Like, they just... this It costs them zero mana to play this card. Because they just gain all all three mana back <laughs> from this. So zero mana, 2-2, two, two, that also creates this lo Loping Telescope. That then gets another card. Oh, the first one created the Poro Sled. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's frustrating. Alright, so I, I had to do that before playing the blockers out, I guess. And just take the damage from the open attack. Well, that's frustrating. That was the, the perfect two cards to have. Loping telescope into group shot. Time for the money maker. Gather up and move out. Watch and learn. Good news is we we have uh, whittled them down pretty good. There only have three cards left, and we did find a Lost Soul, right? Like, we have to find, like, one of those top-end cards, and we did. So Lost Soul looking good. Hard cast Lost Soul. That's what I want to do. Do not no. the shrouded path. Alright, so this allows me to keep up both the Spirit's Refuge and Deny. Can't deny him anymore. Again. That's a lot of damage. Master. 
You play Caitlyn alone, yeah, without other champions, and then you can really focus on the flash bombs and probably probably some puff caps as well. You don't have to play Teemo with Caitlyn, but yeah, you can really focus on flash bombs then. Everything should be attacking on their side. That is a mistake not to attack with everything. I'm glad they didn't. But they should. Because if everything's attacking, I have to block my dead. thing that has impact. And also Poro Sled gets to make a random Poro. This is gonna cost you. Well it looks like the Bandle Tree's gonna get me. The one round that I, I play the House Fighter instead of the Coaling Strike. If I do it the other way around, if I play Coaling Strike and not House Fighter for the blockers, I win this game. So that's really frustrating. Could have won that game, but, um, you know, how hindsight that. Oh, Vandal City Mayor. Man, that card. All right, one and three. But could have been two and two if I would have changed up how we played that. All right, Mobilytics is frozen. Let's go to the next game. Thankfully, I haven't played against the um, the Shell Folk bug yet. I'm I'm very glad about that. I haven't ran into anybody using that bug. This is an important Spirits Refuge matchup, but again, we need our champions. Hopefully get a win here and, uh, you know, get a 2-3 instead of a 1-4, but I'm not not confident in that. We're just losing to a lot of Vandal City Mayors. They're, they're able to, you know, put up enough defense to stop us and then play the longer game as well. Alright, so House Spider this round so that we can have the Grenadier on the attack round. Told you I 
to attacking there. One get excited out of their hand. Maybe I just attack. Good thing I didn't play Zen. I waste the Grenadier if I spinning axe right now. It's probably worth it, right? To kill the four two. Now we're cooking. It's probably worth it. So I could have done that first and then attacked also with the Grenadier, but then they're not blocking with the Risen Rider. But I guess then we'd be doing 5 extra damage to them. So they maybe trade away like the Boom Baboon at that point. Without a sound. Another Mystic Shot. Had the backup. Death is transient as long as the body holds blood. Hey, buddy, what you doing? One card over there. Let's This is a pretty cool combo of Retreat Return with this Gray Physician. So you can just discard the Return, draw a new unit. Alright, not a very good unit. That's, that's a pretty cool combo. It just turns Retreat Return into kind of like two mana draw card, I guess. Four mana draw card, so maybe it's not that great. Just trying to decide what to do, Draven. Trying to decide what to do. Do 
I want a Sonic Wave, like a Reborn Grenadier, and have it challenge a Sump Dredger. Trying to decide what to do. Let's do this. All right, I think we'll do this. You know, you just take three. Eighteen. Yeah, so maybe our deck needs to like support our champions better and stuff. Like these these house spiders haven't really been necessary. I need more card advantage. Hmm. I have a really good play if they don't have. Uh, if they don't have get excited, but they really haven't shown to have get excited, right? So Time for the money maker. Really hope they don't have get excited. With your name on it. Or another Draven. Or anything that butts this up. But I don't think they do. Captain Farron. Well. I was planning on open attacking, but now we're gonna do this. I was gonna give my 1-1 one, one challenger and have the 1-1 one, one challenge the boom baboon. Salt and stitches to awaken the blood. Okay, if we send them all in, let's see. Let's just have you take out you. And then we'll kind of see where we're at. So I can either resonating strike for the plus two plus zero, or I can like spinning axe and discard this the resonating strike. And level up Draven. Alright, so this will put him down to 10. Alright, we should probably do Resonating Strike over there. Make it 8, because I got to Decimate. Next round we have <coughs> exactly 10 mana. Which is a good amount of mana to have with the Decimates. So I think the two games that we played Captain Farron are going to be the two games that we win. Right? Like, we didn't play Captain Farron in any of the other games that we lost, right? I don't, I don't think we did. So maybe I need more Captain Farron at the top end. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. It's a great card to finish out games. It just... My opponent was at 18. <laughs> just hit him for 10. Double decimate. That 18 is gone. So yeah, like our Lost Soul was honestly really good for us too. So like all three of our top end cards were good. It was just, you know, drawing those top end cards and stuff because we actually played like some pretty late games, but we didn't have them very often. Like we didn't have Kato hardly ever. And we didn't have, you know, the Captain Farron. We had it two games. We played it twice. We went 2 0. We did play more Lost Souls than the other two cards, but uh, the Lost Souls were good. We just, you know, uh, we did play them quite a bit. Um, I can maybe see playing, maybe we play a third Lost Soul over the third Reborn Grenadier. I 
I did like the Lost Souls, but... Um, I don't know. So, let's just keep it like this for right now. So, basically, with our deck here, it did a pretty good job. Like, with our, like our, both of our champions looked really good. I could see us maybe kind of going more into protecting the champions and more spells and stuff like that. We do have to worry about decks going wide, but, you know, you're going to have to be able to race the other decks. Um... Because sometimes we just had like too many of these small units. Like we drew lots and lots and lots of house spiders, for example. They, especially like in the late game, they weren't really doing too much. Um, but the, you know, it's a very good card to keep your opponent from going wide. Like, you know, house spiders are a great defensive card and it allows the Draven and Zed not to play defense and to attack more. Um, maybe more ways to protect Draven and Zed, but we already have a, a decent amount. I don't know. I kind of like the list. It just you know, they didn't work out. Well, we went two and we went two and three, but then there's also one game that if I play the Culling Strike over the House Spider against the Bandle City Mayor, we win that game. And so if we just do that, yeah, like, like that, we would have won that game. So if we did, if I did that, then we're three and two. I was scared of the Poro Sled, thinking that I need to get blockers to the Poro Sled, but that didn't work out. All right, but anyway, that's going to be Draven, Zed. I don't know. I think we'll want to play like some more games in here uh, before changing up too much, but Grave Physician looked good. I liked that one. I was hoping Grave Physician would draw this, this stuff more, but you never know. Like the next five games could go completely different, right? Like it could be like where we just draw all these cards all the time and then <clears throat> we don't have like enough early blockers when we get ran over and stuff, right? Like that could happen in the other five games. So give it a try yourself and those y'all watching later on YouTube, leave those comments and let me know how it works for you. You know, what do you think of the list and how does it work for you? And if you got any ideas for improvements, feel free to put them in the comment section. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.